Hi guys, um, it's been a while and I apologize for that, but you know, anxiety happens. Um, I will say that I found a really cool way to record Game Boy games, and that's this little, little device that I have here. And it is a physical cartridge as you guys can see. Um, so not an emulator. Comes with this, uh, controller thing. So, uh, Pokemon Emerald is one of my favorite games, and I can't wait to play it. So maybe put a flashing light warning. So let's get started. I'm gonna start a new game. I've also had some issues in the uh, in the past with this, where the game just kind of freezes. So I'm hoping it doesn't do that with this. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. It's a low tad. Um. Also. The... It, it wouldn't come through my headphones, so I'm hoping it doesn't, like, double to where you can hear the game volume twice. But I've tested it and it seems to be okay. Like, it doesn't pick it up when I'm not talking and it didn't seem to when I was talking. So, anyway. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokémon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at time, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as co cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. Despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? <laughs> are you a boy or a girl? The age-old question. Because he's blind. Alright, what's your name? Still press B. I thought I was gonna go back for some reason. Oh, okay. You're Kelly, who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. This is safe for a ten-year-old child. I can move. You might hear the controller. I don't know. Mom! Kelly, we're here, honey. Must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck, and also very safe for a child to be in the back of a moving truck with no seatbelt. And items that are breakable, like TVs and shit. It's fine, though. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. Mom, I, I've, all I've seen is you. Has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room. Let's go inside. See, isn't it nice in here too? The Movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. 
Oogie. Oogie. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. I see. I never had the yellow GameCube, I just had a silver one. I might like this program. There's always an item. stopped. Better set it and start it. <laughs> Fuck if I know. Um. It's. Hmm. E... Yeah, that's it, whatever. Sure. How do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. Yeah, mom, just like Mr. Mime's convenient to Ash's mom. Um, anyway. Mm-hmm. Look, it's Petalburg Gym. Maybe Dad will be on. Brought you this report from in front of Petalburg Gym. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Okay. Introduce myself to an old man. Sounds good. He's not here. Little girl, why the fuck are you stopping me? I'm on, on. If you go outside and go in the grass, a wild Pokemon will jump out. Dangerous if you don't have your own Pokemon. Who who let you in charge of this town? No, Mom. I didn't introduce myself to him because he's not there. Now, I will say that I haven't played this in several years, so, like, I don't remember exactly everything to do. He's doing field work. Studying the environments like fields and mountains instead of a laboratory. The professor isn't one for doing desk work, and he's the type of person who would rather go outside and experience things than read about them here. Alright, cool. Let's go bully that child into letting us leave. Goodbye, child. I don't care. Let me go. <laughs> Mom, a little girl is bullying me. I can't leave. Okay. I really don't remember what to do. Do I go talk to my other neighbor? Hello, and you are? Ah, oh, you're a next-door neighbor. Hi, we have a son about the same age as you. Oh, fuckface? 
Our son was excited about making a new friend. Our son is upstairs, I think. How do you not know where your son is? Hey, I'll take the free Pokeball. Oh shit. I wasn't trying to steal. Hey, you. Who are you? Oh. You're Kelly, aren't you? Moved in next door, right? I didn't know that you're a, a girl. Oh. Dad, Professor Birch said that our new next door neighbor is gym leader's kid, so I assumed you'd be a guy. My name's Brendan. So hi, neighbor. Huh? Hey, don't you have a Pokemon? Do you want me to go catch you one? Ah, oh, darn, I forgot. I'm supposed to go help my dad catch some wild Pokemon some other time, okay? Can I have this item if you're not using it? Dang it. Hey, you have a blue game cube. <laughs> One fully restored, items all packed, and I don't care. Okay, can I go bully the child out of the way now? Yes! I can bully the child out of the way. Come hi! There are scary Pokemon outside, I can hear their cries. I want to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you see, go see what's happening for me? I don't have any Pokemon either. You bullied me earlier. Help me! Um. <laughs> Hello, you over there. Please help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. Nope. Where are you going? Don't leave me like this. I just... I was going into the grass. Oh, fine. My go-to is Trico, my boy. <laughs> I don't know why, I just like Trico and Sceptile is amazing. So... Found the Zigzagoon. You know, that's rude to lower my attack like that, bro. Finally, you attack me? Lowering my stats like that so I take longer to kill your ass? That's very rude of you. I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh? Uh, hi, you're Kelly. This is not the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? So. I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. The way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a bomb. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins, after all. Oh, yes. As thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokémon you used earlier. I received Trico. Doo -doo -doo. While you're at it, why not give it a, nick a nickname to the Trico? Um... I'll name it after... My cat. My cat is no longer with me, by the way. But it's fine. If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid Brendan is also studying Pokemon while help me, helping me out. Don't you think it might be a good idea to see to go see Brendan? Sure. Ew. Get him to teach you what it means to be a trainer. I don't know why I always go into the mafia accent. Hey, the little kid that bullied me, get out! Go away from my house. 
Dirk. Must be out in the about in the wilderness here. Don't know if these guys battle, I forget. <laughs> well, I'm in the next town. Fuck is Brendan? Can I just complete the whole game without ever talking to the kid? Wasn't really tired, mom, but thinks I guess. Granted, it is 1:35 in the morning, but it's no, fine. Pretty sure I don't have any Pokeballs, but Brit? Rude. And also, no, I don't do Nuzlocke, so don't even. I just play. Seriously? Another one of you doggos? I know Trico's not a cat, but... Still. First time I went through the grass, I was lucky, I guess. Uh, oh god. Thanks for the potion. Music back. Can't buy balls yet. What the fuck is this kid? What are you doing, creep? Ah, wait, please don't come in here. Just discovered the footprints of a rare Pokemon. Wait until I finish sketching them, okay? Okay. Weirdo. Should maybe heal up. <laughs> I gotta find my old um capture card so I can record on my GameCube. Um so I can actually continue playing Pokemon Coliseum 
because I'd like to get the Jirachi from the bonus disc, but if I do it on an emulator, it's I can't. So, um, you know. Don't know why I went the long. Oh, there he is. Don't know why I went the long way though. So it's this one and that one that live on Route 103. Yeah, Dad gave you a Pokemon. Since we're here, how about a little battle? Teach you what being a trainer is about. I'm a little tired. Down lately. Yeah, that helps. It's Absorbia. <laughs> okay, that didn't do anything. I'm probably gonna lose this battle. Especially if it keeps growling me. I gained one HP from that? I'm not getting much back. Kill it. Get a crit. Not on me, though. Staying alive. Staying alive. You better kill it. Sixty-nine experience. Heck yeah. too shabby. I got 300 bucks. Heck yeah, I wish it was like that in real life. Well, not the animal fighting, but you know what I mean. I think I get it. I think I know why my dad has his eye out for you now. Sorry. Look, your Pokemon already likes you even though you just got it. You get the feeling that you could befriend any Pokemon with ease. We should head back to the lab. Just got all the way out here. Going without you. Ah, shit. <laughs> Enough with the Puchianas. Puchinis? Puchaina? Puchaina. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Going with that now. Give me your HP. Ooh. Okay. A decent chunk of its HP. Nice. Man, I regret deleting my old save file because I missed that subtitle a lot. And in fact, I didn't even delete it, I just... Well, I did delete it after the fact, but... Um... I had transferred it to Pokemon Bank. When that was still a thing. And I forgot to pay for it. And I lost all of my Pokemon. That I transferred to it. And... Yeah. 
I'll never get those back. That's okay. We'll create new memories with these. Heading back to my dad's lab now. You should hustle back too. Yes. I want the running shoes. Imagine if you just didn't have running shoes. Back in the old games. Where'd you beat Brendan on your first try? That's excellent. He's been helping me with my research for a long time. He has an extensive history as a po as a trainer already. Here, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. Yay. It's a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. <laughs> my kid goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, my Brendan looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Huh, so you got a Pokedex too. Well then, here, I'll give you these. Balls! Yes! Put my balls into the balls pocket. You know, it's more fun to have a whole bunch of Pokemon. I'm going to explore all over the place to find different Pokemon. If I find any cool Pokemon, you bet I'll try to get them with these balls. Cool. Running shoes! Mom! I want running shoes! Yes, I introduced myself. An adorable Pokemon. You're your father's child, alright? You look good together with the Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll put a zip in your step. Hell yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. Why are you so soulless with your black eyes, Mom? But please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on. Go get him, honey. Shove it, child. I have gray eyes and you're all soulless. Or brown eyes? I have brown eyes. Whee! I can run now. When will you give me the map? Can't run indoors, this sucks. Fine. Infinite stamina, go! You a warm pole? No. No. I'll get it and see if I can transfer it up. Maybe. I don't want to give it a nickname. Hey, you finished your research. Wow, you're dumb. Pokemon with you, then you're an official Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. Fudge you, man. Freaking youngster Calvin. Ooh, scary a level 5 Puchiano.
Give me your money, kid. Yeah, I lost. I should have trained mine more. 80 bucks? You're not even worth it, bro. Behind you real quick. Man. Nice. Jesus. No. I'm already level eight. Man, I might have to go to bed soon. Jeez. Why am I so fucking tired? Oh, fuck you, man. Could have avoided this guy. Oh well. Youngster Allen. Pulse, bro. Oh no. Don't be stingy with it. Ooh. Right on, right on, right. Hey, yeah, I said don't be stingy with your health, bro. Come on. Give me it. health too. Okay. Or don't. God, all these Pokemon. It's so low level it always knows freaking growl. you because I thought I could beat you. You didn't call me. 48 bucks, you're worthless. Literally worthless, dude. Yes, I want to pick the orange berries. And I'll plant one back. have the health to fight you. I'm just gonna run. Plus I'm level 9. I don't really need to fight you.
Did I press B? I didn't mean to. Puchiana and a Trico. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it there. And just for extra precautions, I'm just gonna save it again. Hopefully it actually saves. Um and then I guess we'll go talk to my dad, because he's the gym leader here. Yeah. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!